What began as a groundbreaking dive to one of the ocean's most iconic shipwrecks quickly turned into a nightmare. The Titan, a cutting-edge submersible carrying five explorers, vanished beneath the waves. Could this disaster have been prevented? Join us on Archive of the Deep as we uncover the truth behind the Titan tragedy. June 18th, 2023, in the cold, dark depths of the North Atlantic Ocean, a modern submersible named Titan descended toward the Titanic wreck. The Titan carried five men on a mission to witness the Titanic up close, but just hours later, the submersible vanished. What was meant to be a cutting-edge expedition turned into chilling silence. The Titan was operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions, a company offering something no other did, a ticket to the ocean floor. For $250,000 per person, adventurers could board the Titan and descend two and a half miles below the surface to visit the world's most famous shipwreck. Titan was not your typical submersible. It was built with carbon fiber and titanium, equipped with LED lights, sonar, cameras, and even operated using a modified Logitech video game controller. It was small, lightweight, and innovative. But there was one major problem. Titan was never certified by any maritime safety agency. OceanGate chose to bypass third-party inspections and safety standards. In this article, OceanGate defended their decision to bypass traditional certification. They argued that Classing agencies only focus on validating the physical vessel. They do not ensure that operators adhere to proper operating procedures and decision-making processes, two areas that are much more important for mitigating risks at sea. The company went even further, stating, classing is not sufficient to ensure safety. Classing standards do have value, but by itself, classing is not sufficient to ensure safety. In part, this is because classing does not properly assess the operational factors that are vital for ensuring a dive. CEO Stockton Rush believed regulations were holding back progress. He called safety a waste of time and viewed risk as essential to exploration. On June 18, 2023, five people boarded the Titan. Stockton Rush, the CEO and pilot. Hamish Harding, a British billionaire and adventurer. Paul-Henri Najolet, a French Titanic expert, Shazada Dawood, a wealthy Pakistani businessman, and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman. Just before 10 a.m., the Titan submerged. 96 hours of oxygen were on board. The dive was expected to last around eight hours. At first, everything appeared normal, but after one hour and 45 minutes, the final communication was received. Should be about 500 meters, 30. What was that thing? Dropped two weights. Dropped two WTs. Titan dropped two weights. Likely referring to the release of ballast weights. Copy, Titan dropped two weights. Then, nothing. Communication stopped. No signal, no images, just silence. The Polar Prince, the support ship on the surface, waited anxiously. After two hours without contact, they reported the sub missing. A massive international search began. The U.S. Coast Guard, Canadian aircraft, deep sea vessels, and sonar drones scanned the ocean for signs of life. Around the world, millions watched, hoping for a miracle. But four days later, debris was found just 1,600 feet from the Titanic wreck. The tail cone, landing frame, and other parts confirmed it. The Titan had suffered a catastrophic implosion. At 12,500 feet deep, the pressure is around 6,000 pounds per square inch about 375 times what we experience at sea level. Any flaw in the vessel's structure becomes fatal. But this wasn't just a tragic accident. It was a tragedy that experts say could have been prevented. OceanGate was founded in 2009 with a bold and controversial mission to open up the deep ocean to explorers, scientists, and everyday adventurers who would otherwise never reach such depths.
The company aimed to blur the lines between exploration and tourism by making submersible diving more innovative and accessible. OceanGate's philosophy focused on speed, innovation, and challenging established norms. CEO Stockton Rush believed maritime regulations and certification processes held back exploration. He claimed that too much focus on safety was a drag on progress and that risk was essential to pushing boundaries. This approach led OceanGate to deviate from industry norms. While other submersible builders followed strict certification and safety protocols, OceanGate chose to bypass many of them. This allowed them to move quickly, experiment with new technologies, and build Titan using carbon fiber, a material rarely used at such depths. But this philosophy drew serious criticism. Experts warned that ignoring safety standards and avoiding inspections would increase the risk of disaster. OceanGate stood firm, convinced that risk was the price of innovation. As early as 2018, the Marine Technology Society warned OceanGate that the company's refusal to certify Titan posed serious safety risks. The letter made it clear that the experimental design could lead to outcomes ranging from minor incidents to catastrophic failure. Industry experts emphasized that OceanGate's claims about meeting safety standards were misleading and highlighted the importance of independent third-party validation to protect all submersible occupants. In 2022, OceanGate's own Director of Marine Operations, David Lockridge, was fired after raising concerns about cracking sounds during earlier dives and demanding proper testing of the pressure hull. He was ignored. Stockton Rush believed that following the rules would stifle innovation. He famously said, At some point, Safety is pure waste. If you want to be safe, don't get out of bed. Don't get in your car, don't do anything. At some point, you got to take some risk. In August 2025, the U.S. Coast Guard released its final report, 335 pages detailing the Titan disaster. The verdict was clear. This was a preventable failure. Investigators found that the carbon fiber hull, while experimental, was not suitable for repeated deep sea dives. The Titan lacked external inspections, formal safety protocols, and even basic risk assessments. Internal criticism had been silenced. Passengers had not been properly informed of the dangers. The report made it clear. OceanGate had created a culture where innovation and breaking the rules took precedence over protecting human lives. It wasn't just a tragic accident. It was a failure that could have been avoided if safety had come first. The official investigation leaves no doubt. Stockton Rush wasn't just the pilot of Titan. He was, in the words of the report, the architect of its failure. Rush ignored warnings, overruled his own engineers, and pushed forward with a dangerous, untested design. Still, Rush pressed on. The report outlines a series of red flags. Titan's viewport was only certified to 2,100 feet, but the Titanic lies at 12,500. In 2019, over 150 loud cracking sounds were heard during a dive, signs of structural failure. Later, a four-foot crack was discovered in the hull. It should have been retired. Instead, it dove again, and then the Titan imploded. The report calls for sweeping changes, a global ban on uncertified passenger submersibles, a national sub-registry, and legal protection for whistleblowers, like David Lockridge, whose warnings were ignored. But in the end, the conclusion is chilling. If OceanGate had followed its own safety manual, this disaster could have been avoided. Five men lost their lives. Not to nature's fury, but to one man who believed that risk was innovation and safety was a waste of time. So why does this story stay with us? Maybe because it reminds us of the Titanic itself, another vessel filled with confidence and ambition that ignored warnings. 
maybe because it involved billionaires, explorers, and scientists chasing a dream in one of the most unforgiving environments on Earth. Or maybe because it shows us something deeper, that even in our high-tech age, we're still at the mercy of nature when we descend into the unknown. Today, the wreckage of Titan rests quietly on the ocean floor just a few hundred yards from the Titanic. Two ships, two centuries, two disasters, separated by over 100 years, yet eerily alike. Human ambition, technological overreach, and silence at the bottom of the sea. The ocean forgets nothing. And sometimes, it reminds us that no matter how far we've come, the deep still holds the final word. Subscribe to Archive of the Deep for more stories that lie beneath the waves, where history, tragedy, and mystery meet in the cold, dark depths of the sea.